following footage that you saw was taken on the 22nd of March. We had to rearrange the whole office. As you can see, we're in a different setup now. Chloe is working from home, so we had to make one last quick errand around the city just to get the last few bits and bobs so we can all work from home for the next several months to come. So since we had our cameras with us, we thought we might as well grab a piece of history and document it while we can, because as of today, the 24th of March, we won't be able to venture out of our houses anymore. So I feel I was extremely lucky and fortunate to get that window of five minutes being able to just capture what the city looks like right now. Yeah, this is probably gonna be the last day that we do street photography at all. If anyone's ever been to Liverpool Street Station in London, you know that this place is absolutely rammed. There is absolutely, I don't know, I'm kind of speechless. I don't know how to describe this. I've lived in London all my life. I'm 27 years old. So um, fair amount of years. Never seen like this ever. How are your thoughts and feelings? It's really strange. I mean, I, I used to commute here to Liverpool Street quite often before we changed office. And I remember this place being so packed, like no matter what time of day or day of the week. What holiday could be Christmas, Even Easter, holidays, whatever. This is one of like the most kind of busy stations in, in London. And to see it this empty, it's like, damn, it just feels really real. I mean, it's, it's for the good of our society, I suppose. Like, the more that we can socially distance, the more that we can help protect the most vulnerable of our society and flatten the curve, as they say. Yeah, 100%. It's, it's, it's a good thing. It's scary, but it's a good thing. And, you know, with hope that we do enough of this for a while and hopefully this too shall pass. With that said, we promised ourselves we'd only give ourselves five minutes of street photography because we want to respect social distancing. I mean, there's no distance to be made because there's no one here, but that's regardless. Um, I think as street photographers, we're gonna have to put up with the fact that we can't really go out and take photos for a while. So for us, this is the final day because we were running around doing errands. We have hand sanitizers, we're driving around, we're not taking public transport. So don't worry, we're not being irresponsible. We know the situation fairly well, but my job and responsibility is to document and that's kind of the last time I get to do this. So hope you guys enjoy the last day. Yeah. Maybe enjoy the last day. Well, until further notice. Now, I don't condone anyone for leaving the house as of 24th of March in the UK, because we are experiencing a strict no getting out of the house lockdown, essentially. Also, we really wanted to do a review of the new Viltrox 85mm f1.8. Now, like I said, we only had about five minutes to run in and run out, so I didn't get to get any B-roll of this lens because I'm still working through it, I'm still trying to learn it, I'm still trying to get the settings right. But I will show you a series of photos that we took and I will label which ones were taken on the wheel trucks. And the rest were taken on the 23mm f1.4. So, as you can see, life is very different now. We're gonna have to change the way that we operate. Stores are gonna have different timings now. I think we have to give real credit to the people that are working in a hazardous environment right now. Do it street cleaners, people operating the pharmacies, having restrictions, having to regulate people and rationing them. Also time to wear new gear, new equipment. Everyone seems to be wearing masks, gloves. I really advocate that you guys wear gloves if you do venture out there. The new way of handshaking is now resorted to elbows and feet, as you can see a little Foot tap is now the way to go. And yeah, this is the life that we're living in right now. I think for us, the main thing that we found shocking was just how empty it is. Living in London for all my life, I've known this place to be a place of go, go, go. And even on Christmas day, the streets are just busy as ever. So seeing this and being able to document this was quite interesting. And Clearly I wasn't the only one that had this idea. There was other photographers out there that wanted to grab the opportunity to 
capture this moment in history. This one of the Ville trucks I really like, I was able to get nice and close, zoom in on someone and retain that nice quality. But yeah, do mention which photo is probably your favourite. I will be putting these photos on Instagram so you guys can have a look. So obviously we're in strange times right now and a lot of us are feeling the hit and having to self-isolate at home and it's going to be quite a change but it doesn't have to be doom and gloom. It was also Mother's Day on Sunday and we thought how could we surprise our mothers and give them something without having to physically be there. So we thought we'd do a bit of lip syncing. <laughs> So, if you guys have a camera at home, you can easily make someone's day and give them a piece of joy. Takes a few hours to do, but hey, if you make YouTube videos anyway, why not make something personal for your family? And especially in times like this, they could really use it right now. So, this is what it's like to be a photographer slash videographer in London right now. This video is to highlight what's happening in, in our city right at this moment. I hope you enjoyed the footage, like I said, I was really fortunate enough to be there at the right time and the right place and get out at the right time and the right place as well. So let me know what's happening in your city, your country. How are you guys coping? What are you doing to pass the time and get creative and find a new routine for yourself? Let us know in the comments down below. We're going to be making more videos than usual, which is probably going to be a good thing artistically. So let's focus on the positive and look after your mental health. Stay healthy, stay hydrated and all that good stuff. See you later, take care.